so we did the kitchen now what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to build a box to cover this and my fridge is going to go right on the top of it to cover it up here so when you walk in the fridge will be blocking your view but you have to walk in over here in the corner and come here now all this is going to be open area all completely open area tongue and groove pine on the walls but right over here i'm going to have my couch seating area and here when you're looking at this wall you can see i put outlets right up here because that's where my flat screen tv is going to go so that way I can have connectors there. I don't have to worry about outlets down there, wires running down. My AC unit's gonna be there, so that's what those pipings are for right there. And those are my Lucy lights, which are solar powered, um, that I'm gonna have throughout the house, just for emergencies. Um, so that's gonna be my wall for my TV. But also, the other thing that I've done is my outlets. They're standard two-prong, uh, standard outlets for two connections, but also the USB. So right now I have my Apple Watch uh, charger and my iPhone charger in there at the same time. They're very convenient to have. Honestly, guys, for the price, it's worth investing. Um, I got these for $16 on Amazon. Uh, you can get it for $26, but it's worth the price. I have one over there. I have one right there, and I have another one hiding behind my shower pan, but it really is worth it. So. I'm gonna keep all this area over here open. Of course, of course there's a mess, but uh, it'll all get cleaned up. But all this is gonna stay open, just my couch, seating area, big being big. There's my loft, um, but we'll come over here. My washer dryer, so it's a washer dryer combo all in one. Put in my clothes, set the washing cycle, set the drying cycle, it does it all. But it's ventless, no gas, pure electric. And this is what I'm gonna do. For those of you that are following my Instagram, Look on my Instagram, I posted some videos. This is the base of my cabinet that my washer dryer is gonna go in. This area is where my shower is gonna be. Wheels, washer dryer on top of wheels. When I'm not in the shower, my washer dryer, the whole cabinet that's gonna go all the way up here is gonna roll right over my shower. So all this, notice the space it's taking up. Let me back up a little bit. Notice the space that it's taking up right there. That space is going to be free once I push it over over the shower when I'm not using it. And when I'm using the shower, push it back for a few minutes while I shower. When I'm done, I push it right over so I free up that space. Uh, look on my Instagram. You'll see the videos. Really cool. Um, it's just kind of making use of all your space. There's my wall right here for my restroom. There's going to be my toilet. That's my AC unit that needs to get installed, but my toilet's gonna be a composting toilet. But base for the cabinet, washer dryer in the cabinet, wheels, so it rolls right over my shower when I'm not using it. Um, also, my loft, if you notice up here in my loft, those, extra, those two outlets I have right there. This one on the left for my LED projector, that one on the right are for my lights. So I actually have cut already, which I'll do some video um, probably next week once I install it. But I have a screen, a projector screen, that rolls all the way across and covers the whole opening, even all the way to the tip, covers it all. So that whole opening becomes a projector screen. And my projector will be back there, so it kind of becomes my little mini media room up there. And then my lights are going to be LED lights, which I'll show those uh, next week when I get those installed. So I'll have a flat screen TV up down here. I'll have an LED projector up there and that whole thing will become my entire projector screen. So it'll be probably about an 80 inch screen, which is kind of nice in my loft. Um, I also have my skylight up there, which is really cool. So that way at night I can see, get some light coming in. Safety, should something happen, I can just jump right out and not have to worry about crawling all the way down here. Um, but also I can jump on the roof and just sit up and relax wherever I'm at, enjoy the view. Um, so that's my loft and the reason why we can see through my loft is I'm actually changing the wood because I got some better wood um, and I decided why not do it now than later because I probably won't do it later. Um, so that is my inside. You can see the kitchen again from this view right over here. Stove, sink, 
plenty of room right over there. And I'm not doing cabinetry down there at the bottom. I'm not going to put in uh, doors to oh, swing open because the more space you put, the more storage you put, you're going to use it. I don't want to have a lot of storage. I don't want to use it. I want to keep it as free as possible. So there's going to be pretty much no storage down there. I'm only going to have one small little swing out cupboard for just a few knickknacks um, from forks and spoons and stuff. I'm going to hang my pots uh, right over here. And underneath, if you notice underneath the beams, there's just a little bit of space. Well, in there, there's a little bit of space also. And what I'm actually going to do is that's where I'm going to put my cans and other knickknacks in there. They're going to be nice and neat and kind of hidden. Um, and then lastly, my spray foam insulation, three and a half inches of closed cell spray foam. I'll give you an example of how awesome this is. Vegas this weekend, 105 degrees. In Vegas for four hours, not including the two hours already in the desert driving. Walked in, opened my door, came inside here. Literally, it was about 75 degrees. 105 degrees outside, 75 degrees in here. That's how well that insulation does. No air conditioning, no nothing. Just naturally, as the temperature was in here, it stood the same. Didn't change even in 105 degree weather. Um, so, insulation is a huge thing. Just remember... Whatever you decide, decide what's best for you. And my skylight, that's automatic and opens and closes as I tell it. So there it is. That's my uh, little tour of inside my tiny house. Uh, more to come next week as I finish. And just a little side note, this right here will become an actual hidden door. I'm going to close it off. And that little space, mind you, even though it's a few inches, is space that I can use and it's actually going to be a hidden door. You'll never know that there's anything in there because it'll look just like a complete sealed off wall. So more to come on that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you uh, like this. And please follow me on my Instagram. Uh, that's where I have most of the updates. Any questions, just uh, shoot me over a message. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy.